A Northwest Indiana group is doing its part to raise money for some community organizations, and it's doing it one crazy, high-impact laugh at a time. Hillary Powell has this story. Yeah. At the South Shore Roller Girls practice, you see skates rolling, but it's hard to spot the 30-member team. They are swift. You get flashes of their personalities, and here, their camaraderie. A black got to go. Keep going forward. In this league, you not only roll with the punches, you deliver them. It's a league where teamwork means preparing your fellow skater for a match by delivering a hard hit, not a high five. Derby, you can't do it by yourself. Uh, I've tried and it doesn't work. <laughs> They are the premier flat track roller derby league serving Northwest Indiana. The group's been around since 2013 and they could number their years by the amount of injuries. Out. <laughs> you can't see anything, but I can feel it. On our team, we've had four broken legs slash ankles. Uh, I got hit pretty good in about and probably like maybe cracked a rib. The girls are really proud of their bruises. That's like their little trophies they have. You know, they like, check this bruise out or check this bruise out. Yeah, I should have stopped the first time I fell on my knee. I fell on it four times. The fourth time did it in. Team President Ticey Shipley, known as Colorado Crush Her in the rink, says she never skated before joining the team three years ago. She says wearing these wheels is empowering. People that say they can't skate, I'm like, well, I didn't skate when I started, and you know, look at me now. Um, people who don't think they can do it, I say, you got to try it first. Um, before you can say it. It's not always going to be a sport for everybody, but it's definitely one that is open to allowing anybody of, of any experience, whether you're athletic or not, to try it. Coach Jason Payne Garcia says the women that lace up these skates are teachers, accountants, and stay-at-home moms. I like coaching the sport because it's something for women to actually do a contact sport. There really is no contact sport out there for women. Um, really don't see women hockey, you really don't see women football too much, and this is actually something that they can do and enjoy and have a good time and raise money for the community. A portion of the proceeds for a pair of bouts this weekend will benefit the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 17 of Hammond. Shipley says the league is making a difference, but also rolling over stereotypes of what women can do. It's a legitimate sport. A lot of people remember the old days and how it was kind of more like pro wrestling where it was made up and fake. Uh, this is not scripted. It's legitimate. You know, everything that we're putting out here uh, is hard work. So we're pretty awesome. <laughs> In Hammond, Hillary Powell, Lakeshore Report.